Hey guys, in this video I want to share with you my review of the Soul F85 machine. It is $2,300. I'll give you some tips on how I save a little bit of money on this. But this machine is amazing. Um, I will tell you, I just started running. I've never been an athlete, but I just started running at the ripe old age of 30, like nine. And I've been running for about two years now, um, on and off, um, over winter versus summer. Um, so I, I put in maybe like 10 miles uh, a week. And so what I want to kind of share was um, my overall thoughts on this machine. If you guys want to watch videos on the technicalities and all that, that is a completely different video. I just wanted to share with you just my overall things that you should know about this machine if you're getting it. Um, I am a typical suburban mom in the Midwest and so I just needed some things so that um, I could run during the winter uh, when I don't feel like running outside because it's raining or whatever. To cut to the chase, I would say that this machine is amazing. I absolutely love it. The two cons that you should know up front is the fan sucks and it's not just this machine where the fan sucks. My sister-in-law got um, a, another machine that is like a step down from it and the, the fan on that one also sucks. The second thing you need to know about this machine is that it is a beast to carry down, okay? So if you have a uh, space where you're trying to move it to where there's nooks and crannies like ours Just know that it's gonna take a lot of work and effort not to screw up your walls um, And also to even carry this thing down even when you're taking it apart This part right here is huge and heavy and so just be aware of that um, That said I will say that the most amazing thing about this machine is the width I feel like there's a ton of space because sometimes I'm like the runner that I feel like when I'm running I can get close to the edge and so I'm like always hitting that plastic but there's a lot of runway there so I, I absolutely love that about that. Um, reviews on Reddit said that it was hard, like it felt hard but I run on like cement all the time and asphalt and I felt like this is amazing on my feet. So I don't know if my shoes, I wear Brooks Adrenaline uh, GTSs um, all the time and so I feel like it's, it's great for me. Um, it also folds up but I hardly fold it up um, and so I that's not a problem for me um, in terms of space because it's literally in my basement um, and it's not very organized. So um, it is huge. Um, the other thing I will say is the fan is terrible. The incline is great. I love the touch screen as well because um, let's say I want to do an incline of 15. I can't, instead of like hitting the little uh, button, I can actually hit 12 and then hit the little button three times in order to get up, up to speed. Other thing I really like about it is um, the speed. And so I hit a button and then if I wanna go faster, so let's say I wanna go to five speed, um, but I wanna go to 5.5, I just hit it five times. And so I like the ability to kind of do the shortcuts on the side and then uh, clicking it up. Um, the other thing I really liked is that it pairs really, really well with Zwift. If you guys don't know, I guess bikers use Zwift a lot, but Zwift is free for runners. and. Um, this hooks up to Zwift, which is amazing. And you can see that I have an iPad up there, so I'll have a Zwift up there, and then I'll be watching YouTube on the screen here. Um, so that's pretty cool. But overall, I mean, I absolutely love it. And then I'll go ahead and kind of narrate through uh, the things that I like. You can see that there's like buttons right here, okay? And then if I really wanted to do like the, if I really wanted to go the incline, all I'd have to do is go to six and then just hit this incline button like two times in order to get it up to speed. All right, so here it is up close. So you can see 12, nine, like this is the incline, right? Normally when I'm walking, I'm doing 15 um, and doing at uh, level three speed. And so if I wanted to go up to 15, I can't remember how high it goes, but normally I go to 15, that's pretty high enough for me in terms of an incline. So I hit 12 and then just hit this little button right here. Um, it's kind of hard to be honest, but it's not, I mean, it's not bad. So if I had to complain, it's a little bit hard to do, but it's, I mean, if I'm running at like, four speed, it's it's actually really easy to hit. So it's not that big of a deal. Um, what I find though is I have a lot of static. I don't know if it's because I have carpet down here. I don't know why I get static because I'll hit this and then like I'll feel um, some static. So I don't know what's going on there. Um, this is like the login screen. So each of uh, my family members has one. So I'll go ahead and hit my name. Um, and then, okay, it'll go through and it's all hooked up to uh, my Wi-Fi. And then I'll normally use my Bose headset to play because I just want to be able to drown out everything above. But it also has great speakers as well. So I'll go ahead and click on media so that you guys can see. Um, I can do Netflix. And what's terrible about this is like whenever I'm watching Netflix or I'm watching YouTube, like this thing is super, super annoying. So I'll have to like hide it and it doesn't go away. 
<laughs> it doesn't go away. So the screen, I mean, it's, it's fine, I guess. Um, so I'll hit the button. You can hear how loud it is, but then when I hook it up to Bluetooth with those headsets, and I also have um, another headset and it works well as well. Um, so you can see that it has like the app all in there, which is great. Um, and then here's the Bluetooth so you can get it set up. These are the um, two headsets that I have. I'll give it a second. So I've got like um, the Sony's and then I got the Bose headsets. Um, they're pretty expensive headsets, but they work. Um, they're like two or three years old, but they work. Um, and then it has a heart thing. My husband has a Garmin and it works really well on the Garmin watch that he has, as well as like the heart monitor. I don't use the heart monitor on there, but um, you can see that I can, um, when I'm running, I can just hit games if I wanted to play games or whatever. Um, but if I wanted to go back, I can hit this little, well, no, this hides, this hides like this row right here. Um, and then I can do like YouTube on here. And it's like, so if you're trying to search on YouTube while you're running, it's kind of a terrible experience um, because this, it's not like, like a touch, this is a touch screen, but it's, it's hard to like move around. If you know what I mean? Like with Apple, it's really smooth, but with like this, it's like, it's not that smooth. So um, you can see here, um, I have, I'm logged in into my YouTube account and I can start watching videos. Let me see. Um, so this March 2024, there's a huge selection of brand new deals for every corner of... Okay, so that's how loud it is. Um, so that's that. So then if I wanted to log out, I could. And then you can see that my uh, family has logins on it. I'll go ahead and log in again. When I'm done doing a run, um, it'll give me like a summary here. And you can see it's really slow um, sometimes. So I've got 32 works out, 32 workouts logged, 86 miles um, total calories, which is kind of cool. I've never done these instructors, to be honest. I don't know if I want to, but I'm, I'm just not a training person. I'm at least not there yet. And so you can see that there's a bunch of training. I don't know if you have to sign up. Let me let me click on one real quick. Oh, it's just. Yeah. Okay, you guys are seeing this for the first time. Oh, this is cool. <laughs> Yes, we have a 15 minute challenge. We're gonna see some adventures today. All right, so we got some jogs, we got some runs. We're gonna end each block of instruction with some sprints as well. Yeah, I'm not doing sprints, but you can see like, this is this is how it works. Um, you can hit finish and then it'll show, and then you can hit delete if you don't want that. So that is basically the classes. This is crazy. I did not know that they had it. Um, anyway, so this this is all of the software that's on here. This is my um, iPad. Give me a second. All right, so here's my iPad. I'm gonna go ahead and open up Zwift real quick. And I'm, I'll hit connect here. Again, it's free, but if you're a biker, it's not free. <laughs> so I guess they're trying to get their uh, biking stuff on. So I'll go ahead and hit ride or run. And then it'll hook up to the SF85, right? And then I can hit okay. And then I can just, um, pick like a run that I want to do. So let's see the 5k loop. And sometimes they'll have like different places like London or Italy or something where you could like run and watch. And so I, this is really insane. I get it, but there's two screens <laughs> that are going on so I can see where I'm running. Right. So, and then I'll hit start so you guys can see what that looks like. So I'll hit start and I'll just do two for now, because I don't know if I can like vlog and do this at the same time. Gosh. Okay, here we go. So you can see here that I'm walking up above and then I can do this. You see it? So I'm walking right now. Okay. And then it's walking at that same speed. Whoa, that's three. All right. So, but if I start running, that uh, avatar will start running as well. And then you get like, as you continue running, um, you'll get the ability to change your outfit. So before I had like a purple outfit, now I got to pick out like a gray and a headband and stuff, which is kind of neat. Um, and then I can also watch videos on here. So as I'm walking, right, I can click on the video. And it's, again, this thing is so stupid. I don't know why they don't allow you to just hide it, hide it but maybe I haven't figured it out. And so sometimes it's like in the wrong corner. So I'm having to slide it while I'm running. And so anyway, that's that piece of it. There is um, a bunch of 
uh, parts for your cup, this thing, emergency stop, you can charge your phone. But like if you have a case like I have and you're trying to charge it, it's not going to charge. I don't see it charging. You see that? It's not charging. So I have to take the phone off the case in order to charge it. And so I don't want to do that, especially on a treadmill. Um, so that's that. And then I've got my Stanley in here. I mean, it fits, but I normally don't drink water while I'm running. Um, you've got the heart rate monitor here if you wanted to do that. And overall, I mean, it's, I feel like it's a great machine, to be honest. All right, here's the on off button, okay, on the machine. So that's that. This is the back of it. You can see the side. And this is my um, pre-core, like an elliptical. So you can see like how big it is in comparison. Again, my elliptical is a pre-core commercial grade. I think this is commercial grade. I'm not too sure. Again, it's the F85 and I absolutely love it. So this machine is a Haas, okay? First off, when I got the machine, it is over 350 pounds and I feel like I can like lift a lot of things, right? Um, I can help my husband lift a dresser and move it from upstairs and downstairs. This thing was a beast. 350 pounds, carrying it down two flights of stairs was insane. And so what I would say is that if you have a space where you're having to haul this down, um, reconsider because we had all actually looked into getting like someone to move it for us from upstairs in the garage to downstairs in the basement and it was going to cost $250. So that said, I would say that like this thing is a huge machine. It's commercial grade and I would say that like if you don't have like someone carrying it down or you don't like hire somebody, this thing is going to be a massive load to take down. Now in terms of the machine itself, it is amazing. <clears throat> To finish out this video, what I wanted to kind of share is that I love the machine. I'm glad I spent the money that I did on it. Um, just remember that you can buy this um, from the Soul website or you can buy it at Dick's Sporting Goods whenever they have like two or three times points, which will give you money back. In short, what I wanted to say is if you guys are looking for a machine that is super strong um, and you are not worried about the weight and moving it around your house, this is one of the best machines with um, some of the best tech that is out there, I think, in terms of like fancy bells and whistles for YouTube, Netflix, um, Amazon Prime, like all the things that you'd ever want in terms of like streaming devices, it has that on here. What it lacks um, is the fan, but you can buy like a box fan and, you know, uh, have a fan on your own, but I absolutely love this machine and would highly recommend it.